Good afternoon and welcome to Mrs. Strader's second grade. Before we go into the classroom, I just wanna show you some of our work that we have put up in the hallways. Sorry if I'm going a little too fast. All right, so now we're gonna go in and take a look at our classroom. There I am. All right. So as we come into the classroom, I'm just gonna show you some of the things that the kids see and the kids use as tools on a daily basis. When we first came into school, we um, did a little survey and talked about some of our favorite things. And this gives the kids an opportunity to see the kids from the other class um, that may be here on Tuesday and Friday when maybe your child comes on Monday and Thursday. So we, for the Positivity Project, we made a list of things that we were curious about. And coming over to our cubbies. So everybody has a cool little cubby and we have our own bags of purposeful play toys so that we don't share toys with other kids and we make sure that everything goes right back in the bag. So as we look above here, We've been working on vowel teams and we, we display this so that if um, one of my friends needs to write a word that has um, the EA sound in it, they might know that it's up on the wall and they can take a look and it will help them with their reading and their writing. Very early on, we talked about the different moods that make our day and we read a story um, that went along with this and then we just brainstormed some some different feelings or moods that we might have on any given day. I also have a chart here that shows kids how they might answer a three point response answer and we call it an ad answer just to help us remember the three different parts that go to it. The first part would be to answer the question and then the two D's stand for details. And this is another great visual that the kids can use when doing their independent writing. All right, I just don't wanna to move too quickly. One of the things that I, I feel like I'm pretty proud of is being able to come up and share the pen. So the, um, the kids and I, we work together to write um, some answers to maybe a question that we have, or if we wanna make a chart or a sign for the room, we work together to write it. The neat thing about this is we always maintain our six feet and all of the, the kids have their own marker, so we don't really share the pen. Everybody has their own, and they use their own pen to do their work. Okay, so this is our guided reading table. And currently, we don't have any more than two kids at a time. And they can sit on each side, definitely creating that six feet of space, but also giving us an opportunity to do that small group instruction you can see that we have more um, charts around the room to help us out. And this is gonna be very helpful to you because these are the reading strategies that we're working on in class when we get to a word we don't know. And, and our friends are doing a great job using these strategies or tools independently. We have a morning message most mornings and, and in this particular one, we were still working on that vowel team of EA, and you can see where we looked for the EA in different words and circled them. Here's another place where we shared the pen, and we're talking about suffixes. Um, so if one of the classes that maybe came on Monday and Thursday interactively wrote what a suffix was, then my other kids would write a few examples, again, being able to share the pen. And something they hear me say quite often, if you can read it, you can write it. And if you can write it, you can read it. So when we create print like this together, it is my hope that um, the children will follow along, pay attention and be able to read it. And then it's, it's in the room um, to build confidence for one more thing that they are able to read independently. Here, we interactively wrote what a prefix is and then came up with some examples. So that's pretty neat as well. I'm going to turn around, hopefully not too quickly, and show you our desk arrangement. 
So everybody is facing forward and two kids that come on the same day are never sitting next to each other just to keep us safe. Um, and the kids are doing an excellent job remembering to put their masks on when they move about the room or if they need to come talk to me or if I stop over to talk to them. Okay, I'm going to flip around here because this is something I really want to focus on. And this is the planner that we are using. You will find this planner in um, your child's folder on the back and it is also duplicated on Seesaw. This is going to tell you the things that your child should do on any given day. Um, so Monday and Tuesday look alike because my, if you are in school, I'm sorry, whoops, Monday, Tuesday. So if you are in school on Monday, then my friends at home would do the virtual, whatever is there on Monday, and then vice versa for Tuesday. So one of the things you might have noticed in your child's folder is a sticker chart. And I give stickers as rewards for various things. Anytime a sprint goes home for math, if it goes home and let's say the kids only have about five or six, seven, eight of them completed, if they finish the sprint and return it, they get a sticker for each side. Um, children will also get a sticker for every day that you sign their folder, but you can't sign ahead of the day that it is unless your child has done the work for that day. So at the end of a week, for example, on Tuesday uh, the 20th, I will take all of my Tuesday kids, I will look at their planners, and I will give them stickers for every day that a parent has signed. My Monday kids, I will do theirs um, on Thursday of that same week. So everyone has an equal opportunity to get those stickers and to earn prizes. Here are some, I just got a, a book order in, and I hope you notice that your child also has brought home a book, and it was donated by Nicole Campbell. And we do have um, people that have donated books uh, throughout the year. Um, so you will see that your child will be coming home with um, books that will have something on the inside telling you who donated them. These are our leveled books. We have yellow, we've got one green and two green, we've got one blue and two blue, and we've got red. These are my read alouds. And then if the kids want to use these, they have to keep them in their bag um, until we're ready to quarantine them. We also have two R and white. Um, you will see these books when they come home. Um, and when your child does their take-home reading and they themselves write the titles, they're also going to have to be able to tell the, the level. And this is a 2R book, and we know it's 2 red or 2R because the black stripe divides the red sticker into two parts. So that's 2R. And I'm just going to show you an example of a 1R so that you can see the difference. Okay, here's a 1R. There's not a black stripe in the middle of it. So the 1R... Um, and the two are, that's, that's the difference between the two. And then the, the levels increase in difficulty as we move up. So yellow is going to be our, basically our easiest for your child to read. And then 1G and 2G. And then again, we are increase in difficulty as we move along. Um, we're working on a growth mindset. And with a growth mindset, you might have seen earlier on a seesaw, the power of yet. And basically that is maybe you can't do something right now or today, or you can't do it yet, but you're going to work on different things to help you to um, be able to do whatever it is you can't do. And as we come along, we've got our, our friends' names. This is a whale of a class. And then I have our wall with our class or our family pictures. If you have not sent in your picture, you can also email them to me. If you don't see your picture here, I didn't get it or I couldn't find it in an email if you have emailed it to me. So please, if you don't mind, just email it to me again at jstrader at watertowncsd.org. 
and I will be sure to get those printed and put on the wall. I hope that you enjoyed this little tour of your child's classroom. If you have any questions at any time, please don't hesitate to give me um, a shout out on Parent Square. You can also email me um, any questions, any concerns at any time. I'd be uh, happy to address them. Have a great night, and I look forward to seeing your children tomorrow and Monday.